guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something else. I'm going to give you some tips like regarding practice, not theory. So whenever you want to develop a website, let's say for a company or for a client, there are two things you should always consider. You've got to have a domain and you've got to have a post. So you also got to know on which platform you decided to build your website. You can easily do it like through HTML, CSS and JavaScript, or you can do it through like easier things like Wix or WordPress. Personally, for my company and also for my clients, we mostly use WordPress because it's easier to customize. You can also make some pretty good designs with it. And we can also implement code in it. So it's not a deal breaker for us, even if the client is asking for some functions on the web. So let's start with WordPress. If you want to develop a WordPress website, what do you do? Like, what are the first steps you need to take in order to develop your website? So the first thing would be the domain. The domain is like the URL, the place where you type www.domain.com. And that redirects you to the website where you want to go. So that is the first place you got to check. You got to buy a domain. There are two main places I usually buy domains from, except GoDaddy, which is one of the most famous ones. My company uses Namecheap. So Namecheap.com is a website there you can find really cheap domains and they also give you like lots of discounts. After you buy the domain, there is one other thing you gotta have in consideration. You need to store it somewhere. You need a server. So basically these servers, we call them hosts. So where do you store your website? You store it on a host. And to buy it, you need to buy the host as well. It doesn't come for free. There are free places probably to get them, but they are your website won't function properly and they probably can find it as well as you can on the paid ones. There are two places, like two main places where I usually buy the hosts. In. The first one would be Namecheap. 80% uh, of all my websites, the ones we do maintenance for are on Namecheap. And there is the other one, HostGator. They have two main things. They have the shared hosting and the WordPress hosting. If you have lots of websites and you don't want to pay a lot, you can use like the shared hosting. The performance may be a little bit slower, but you're gonna get for a good price. You can host like up to 50 websites if I'm not wrong. We gotta check the details as well. And the prices are really good, like it's for 10 bucks a month. The other thing would be the WordPress hosting. Both of these platforms have specialized their servers to be optimized for WordPress. The Namecheap has EasyWP and the HostGator has another one. I cannot remember its name, but you can check it on www.hostgator.com. So the prices for these are a little bit higher, but you got to understand that when you're buying these specialized WordPress servers, let's say, your website will run much better, much better than it would on shared hosting. It won't be slower, all the animations will work correctly, and you'll probably get specialized support if you have problems with your WordPress website. So what would I do? Go to Namecheap.com, find the domain, buy it. Of course, create an account beforehand and secure it so no one like, can hack into it. After that, you go find a host. Like, if you just started your business, you only need a simple website. You're not going to get like 50,000 visitors a month. So you can choose the easiest one, or you can choose the cheapest one. The cheapest one would be like two, three dollars per month. Don't get me wrong. So you're paying like three dollars a month. In a year, it would be like how much? Like 36 bucks. It's nothing to have like a really good host. So if you're in the beginner, find a domain, buy the cheapest host because you're not going to get much visitors let's be honest here and after that you can start developing your website on wordpress in wordpress you can use it like through its own theme builder you can buy themes you can get customized themes or you can like start developing the theme yourself but if you're not into code and you don't want to spend much time on it i would prefer you to go like let's say themeforce.com and buy a template buy a theme you can just change your name change the logo and all that but yeah, these are the only two steps you need in order to like get your website done. Don't go into like the own like website builders because they are not always so good. They do not give you much options to customize. So I would go with WordPress, I would go to Namecheap, buy both the host, buy both the domain. And of course, as always, if you have any questions or like comments, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. So whenever I post, you get a notification on your phone. This is Aiden, signing off.